robotics become more and more accessible every year. With lower costs of entry and easier to use control systems, even someone who's never interacted with a robot can quickly learn. One of the challenges we faced while designing Dexter was the fact that stepper motors don't have built-in encoders. With one slip, the whole task could be thrown off. Even one degree of error at the base can mean that the position of a robot's end effector is off by as much as an inch, depending on the robot's size. Regular optical encoders provide feedback to close the control loop, but just don't have the precision we needed. Normal optical encoders work by shining a light source through a disc with radial slits, known as a code disc, and measuring the light that shines through. This is normally a digital measurement where the sensor reads a 1 if it's mostly over a solid section and a 0 if it's mostly over an open section. Our system measures the analog value as the slot covers or uncovers the light to give a full range of measurements for the full range of the transition of each slit. This vastly improves the resolution but requires much more computation per measurement. Two sensors are used for each encoder to provide directional information, just like a regular quadrature encoder. But since these are analog, one is a sine wave and one is a cosine wave. During operation, the sense light values are interpolated backwards and this provides us absolute as well as ultra-fine relative positioning. Our code disks get about 8,000 points per slit, which results in over a million points per revolution on the critical axes. Each of the five axes are sampled in real time with these two 12-bit sine and cosine values each. The only way we could achieve this was with parallel computing, so we use an FPGA to have the ability to process all of the data coming in at once. The result is 5 million position updates per second, a 200 nanosecond control loop response. This encoder system allows us to achieve highly precise movements using Dexter. For example, we have recorded a motion where Dexter would pick up a weight and touch a micrometer. We played it back, with and without the weight, and got virtually identical readings from the recording. Because we are using both encoders and stepper motors, we know the actual joint position and the commanded position, so we can actually calculate torque with no additional sensors. This creates a very precise closed loop system, which is a building block for interesting control modes. There are three commonly used modes. We call them Keep Position, Force Protect, and Follow Me. Keep Position is self-explanatory. When Dexter detects forces being applied on it, its motors try to counteract the force in order to stay in place. If the motor is strong enough, it will return to the exact desired position. Force Protect is similar in that it tries to stay in place, but it moves out of the way if a lot of force is placed on it before going back to its previous position. In follow me mode, Dexter detects changes in the optical encoders and its motors move with those forces instead of against them. This allows the user to move Dexter around physically without worrying about backdriving high gear ratio transmissions. We're not just trying to build robots, but we're also trying to create a community of makers that create and share their inventions using Dexter. Dexter is licensed under GPL3 so anyone can reproduce it or make changes they like to the design. We have invested in a documentation wiki on our GitHub repository to try to explain how everything works and make it easier for hackers to get involved. We have many issues to resolve and could use your help. Look for the help wanted tags in the issues on our repository. We look forward to seeing what you create.